are live. Do it. Where we last left off, the party fought the giant fucking snake dragon bullshit thing that I came up with on the fly. Great uh, separate. Uh-huh. Uh, Genu at Elise. Great, great serpent. The party, party disposed of him actually pretty easily with the paralysis effect of the whole monster. Thanks, Nomad. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also thanks to Nomad, we're easily, not easily, uh, it was a challenge, but they were able to Skin the entire thing in one go. <laughs> Everything intact. With the inspiration, guidance, and sheer all dumb the... luck of skill. Yeah, all of the buffs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With every single buff we could muster, <laughs> and and a good roll. Yeah, and Nomad's prowess of skinning things. His, his survival techniques that he's used if over I countless to years. If, it's dead, would it have lowered the DC? if you were to bane it, no, you can only bane creatures. It's no longer a creature. <laughs> I mean, it technically is, but like, for the purposes of the spell. No, yeah. It, it, a creature that is once alive and is now not, and has not been reanimated, does not count. <laughs> it dead. It is the current in its current state it is decomposing. Mm. It turns out it's only acid and fire it's only acid resistance when it was alive. <laughs> now it's just kinda, you know, melting. Yeah. You guys managed to get all of the teeth pulled out of the heads before the skinning. So, and so all the venom sacks. Yeah, and all three venom sacks. And the heart. We got a lot of shit. Yes, yeah. we did. You guys are weighed down severely. Uh, yes, we are. And over you guys... Encumbered. Not over encumbered yet. You can still fast travel. <laughs> True. <laughs> Just almost there. Almost. <laughs> Thankfully, there were, there were no enemies in the area. <laughs> that you know. What? <laughs> and... You guys teleported back to Craghammer at the edge of the city, the slums, right before the great expanse that leads to the entrance to the keep of Craghammer. And we left off at that exact moment upon completing your teleportation. Why is your meow so high pitched? And yeah, we'll pick up right there. No, please. Don't everybody Ooh. talk at once. Ah, oh, fuck off, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> None of us still speak Dwarvish. Y'all on me to lead this? Like, I, I can ask tongues on Nestor. Or, uh. <laughs> it cast me a couple of days. We're casting spells through realities now. I wish I had tongues. Phrasing. There's three Damn of them in the, in the body next to you. Damn it. Well, we didn't Once bring the again, body. Phrasing. We didn't bring the body, we just brought the skin. That's true. Fair enough, yeah. I guess you wouldn't technically even have the tongues, because they're attached to yeah, the throat. Gross. I, like, cut in the mouth. <laughs> I, Chris... I just think Chris is gross. That's my input for this. Gross. <laughs> Ew. Okay, so okay. we're at... Where are we at again? We're just outside the gates of the... of Ragdeer's place. Okay. And 
I cast it. Time. Actually, you're you're about three hundred feet. Gates. Yeah, fair, but we're within sight of the gate. We're by the gates. Close yeah. the fuck enough. Make sure that the, the skin does not drip on our way over. Yeah, if it's dripping, how are we going to stop it? I'm not going to try and catch it. No. There is such a thing as called folding. Have you, have you never folded a shirt? I mean... Shirts not... don't drip acid. I mean, Garrett, I'm not going to you are, so... Um... Shirts are also not 20 feet by 20 feet by 20 yeah. feet by 20 feet. <laughs> Yeah, of, I don't of, know of thick, thing, scaled so. hide. You, you guys have fun with it. You guys, to, to put this into perspective, you are essentially carrying gargantuan plate mail. Fuck. <laughs> Basically, Five yeah. of you are carrying this. And How only because... Of, and only because one of you has a magic item that puts your strength over 20. No, man. That took you a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I didn't catch the whole... But fair. Yeah. No, this is some heavy shit. I just move over to Cal after I cast tongues on Garrus and just kind of like eye everybody. Alright, so we're doing this. Alright, walk. She's gonna start the trek. Yep. Sounds good to me. You got this, Garrus. Don't die. <laughs> Jesus. You know, for a bar, you're not very inspiring. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm just waiting for a roll. You're roll. a strong man. Good luck. I love the vote of confidence from the bard. It's great. <laughs> so you're approaching? Yeah, making my way toward the gates. Okay. You make your way toward the gates, and just like last time, they ready their weapons toward you. Just like hold. I'm here to see Ragnar about a job we were tasked with. He stares at you for a while. He's clearly thinking. And then you see this like look of realization on his face. His expression just like brightens up. He's like, "Oh, fair enough. Open the gates." <laughs> uh, could I also ask if y'all could help us with the giant uh, skin? You may not. Yeah, I will gesture then to come over. Darius waves you all forward. Hmm. You begin dragging and pushing the skin metal hide toward the the keep. It this... barely fits through the <laughs> gate. <laughs> Eventually you guys make this your way. One... <laughs> no, okay. You eventually make your way uh through the uh the inner expanse of empty space beyond the gate, leading to the further to the keep. Uh, are you bringing the corpse inside? This in character. <laughs> this is me asking you if you are bringing the corpse inside, or are you leaving it out on the stone? This... I don't think it'll fit inside, honestly. This it will. One... The doors of the keep are bigger than the gate. Oh. Yeah. This one 
suggests we may wish to leave this outside. But if it melts into the stone, then he might be upset. This one thinks if it melts into the stone in the keep, there will be more difficulties than if it melts into the stone let's, outside. Let's just, leave it, let's just leave it here. Uh, as one of the guards, could y'all keep an eye on this? This one, this one will stay out here with it. Okay, you will stay out here with it. Yeah, I'll stay too. Okie doke. I'll stay outside with. <laughs> I like how Midwestern that was. It's curious though. Okie doke. I say that all the time. <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was more the inflection of voice than the way she said it. Yeah. Question is, what's Leaf gonna do for this situation? Leaf is gonna stay outside. <laughs> so it's just gonna be somebody and me talking to us. Yep. So, Have fun. Uh, yeah. I mean, nomad, nom nomads with you. Hey. You want it to right, be nomad. just you? It's I mean, your yeah. It's your dad. <laughs> You know, it's one of those things where, like, you want at least some backup in case, like, you want, like, one of your friends to back you up here. Right, like, Maybe. I'm still coming with you, but you sounded like you were complaining that I was yeah. coming with, like, Yeah, shit, you got Solania no and you got Nomad. At least I got Nomad and Solania. <laughs> so I would have Leaf there for, like, just intimidation. Nah. <laughs> You're gonna attempt to intimidate Ragdeer. Okay. Good why would you that. need? Why would you need Leaf for intimidation when Nomad's with you? That's also true. true. <laughs> Nomad oh, is no. very good at getting in people's heads. Well, here, Garrus, I'll send you some inspiration for you to use later. <laughs> or, or at least confusing us, which is close enough. Nomad looks over at Garrus, just like I don't know. He's glowing with radiation from your last inspiration. So, oh, I'm so inspired from that. Too much, and his head will explode. I'll just take it back then. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's best. All right, yeah. So it's us. <laughs> All right, so the three of you go into the keep. Abby's Leaving. like jotting into her notebook. If you inspire somebody so much, their head will explode. Don't do it. <laughs> Eventually, we're gonna have to teach Abby the language of fucking with you. You're not a bard. You don't know if Nomad was serious or not. Yeah, for all we know, yeah. <laughs> Nomad might be dead serious. Maybe he's done it in one of his lifetimes. There. Never be too careful. <laughs> yeah, that's what Psychic Scream is for. It's a very inspiring language. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked <laughs> again. <laughs> it's not hard to do. You go inside. You make your way through the halls. You spot the elf. Very pretentious elf. That is still there. He's moved on down a different corridor. You guys all would have enough passive perception to see him. Down the, down the hall. He's looking at some more art. It's been here for a while. You guys continue stopping at the large doors to the inner chamber where Ragdeer was the last time you visited. And the guards look at you, nod in acknowledgement, and open the doors for you. And you are led inside to the, uh, once again, dimly lit chamber. As you make your entrance and the doors shut behind you, the braziers on the side ignite, further lighting up the room. And you see Ragdeer has changed chairs. He's now sitting on the right-hand side of the table, still with the chest at his feet his feet resting on them. 
And he looks at all of you and goes, Hello! Weren't there more of you last time? Uh, they're outside with the skins oh. of a thing that you might want to see later. Hang on, they're outside with the what? This uh, hide did you, of... Did you skin something? Yes. And oh. bring it here? I figured you'd want to see what they Godric did. was hunting. I figured you'd just bring the whole thing. It Not was... Really... It was very large. Okay, fair enough. I don't think it's going to fit through your... In, in here. Oh, you every... can barely get it through the gate. Anyway, welcome back. Just came to confirm that Godric got back okay. Godric's been back for days. You know, that he didn't just go out again, because, you know, we kind of had to prep to kill the thing that he wanted us to kill. Okay, not sure. He has not talked to me about any of the details of what was going on. Essentially, he was going out to do with a uh, giant serpent that was posing a threat to the area. Okay. We're talking like three-headed wings, like it's, it's a lot of the thing. Interesting. You have my attention. At which point I will put one of the fang, like one of the sets of fangs on the table. He stares at them, like, in awe for a little while. It's like... Whose femurs did you pull out? <laughs> Those are its fangs. Oh. That explains why they're sharpened. If you would, would like, you cooler can keep... If they were somebody's femurs. <laughs> if you would like, you can keep that set. I... Okay. I, I like how nonplussed he is. <laughs> He's just like... So that makes sense why they're sharpened then. Like, so you pull out the, the three fangs that belong to one of the heads? Yeah. Okay. That's just one head. Okay. Were the heads different sizes? No. Okay. Big teeth. That had to hurt like a bitch. These are post-mortem. I was kind of busy stabbing it before I could remove them. <laughs> okay. Well. Bring it in here. Let's see it. Uh, could, could one of you tell the others to bring it in? Can we get help bringing it in? Yeah, we get, it's, There's it's, no it's, way I'm going to be able to help bring that in. <laughs> no man just points backward. And... Cal, you hear a voice that says, Bring the corpse in. I guess they want us to bring it in. How the fuck are we going to do that? This one thinks it would be easier to bring him out. I really don't think that they will be able to bring it in. It might be easier for you to come out and see it. Cal starts at least trying. <laughs> Cal, go! I believe in you! Ragdir does not move from his seat and looks around the room. He just says, Alright, I need ten of you to go out and help with this thing. Oh fuck, I just like look up like, oh shit. Yeah, you look up, you don't notice anybody there. And then the, the brazers like dim slightly, and as it gets darker, you see 10 guards step forward out of whatever shadow that was hiding them. Fair enough. And they, in uniform, walk 
toward the table, turn facing the doorway, and walk past you in complete unison. And as the lights brighten again, they, like, shimmer away. Ah. Cal's not making any headway back there. Not at all. Didn't think so. You got like two uh, inches forward? After after a couple rounds, essentially, the corpse starts moving on its own into the building. This one supposes that works. Cal will just follow it. That's one way to get something done. After a little while, the the remaining skin of the Great Serpent is pushed into the Grand Hall. And Ragdeer just like stares at it. Jaw dropped. <laughs> like, holy <laughs> shit. I knew you meant big boy, but this big, goddamn! <laughs> <laughs> I would be careful with the venom sacks. I think are wrapped up in that. They're corrosive. Uh, the venom sacks uh, were removed. Yeah, he uh, nomad has them. Oh, nomad has them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking that it was like wrapped up in the skin. Yeah, Nomad has the Venom Sacks and the Heart. Cool, yep. then ignore what I said. And Six of the Teeth. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, okay. Well. <laughs> that's big. Well, mm -hmm. fuck. <laughs> What do you plan to do with it? I mean, we were hoping, I was hoping to get your opinion on it. I'd like to try and sell it if possible. Agreed. My my opinion is that it's really fucking big. No, oh, you're not wrong. I mean, if you're selling it, I'll buy it. It's clearly useful. I think just radiates uniqueness. Oh, absolutely. How much are you selling it for? Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna... So what's a fair price? What do you think? No, I'm curious to hear what you think it's worth. Considering it's a one-of-a-kind creature that is not of this plane, or of this stuff? Yeah, probably good 50,000. I don't know, zero in there, man. 500,000, really? Our chest that, that's back? a little much. 50,000 and our chest back, I think, would be a fair price. This one understands the 50,000 is a large number. It is. For something as unique as that, yeah. 50,000 what? Gold? Yeah. Calvin oh, just kind of stares off into space. <laughs> Alright. Cal, make a persuasion check at it. Let us hope that my rolls have not been such shit since last night. Thank you, Halfling Luck. There's a 9 and a 1, and the 1 rerolled to a 19. Yeah, why uh, did you roll that to me? Yeah, oh, because oh, I was still shooting that. Uh huh. 
Well, at least I mean, you see it. Yeah, it's yep. on stream, so we we have confirmation. Yeah. It is an eighteen at advantage. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, half and luck. That's what I said. <laughs> a nine and a one, and then a nineteen minus one. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm gonna get a specialist in here. See what they think it's worth. This one thinks that would be wise, yes. Yeah, that sounds good. Was he a fucking pawn star? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the reference. <laughs> uh, I'm over here saying that. Yeah. I'm watch the show. <laughs> and by the way, how am I? No, no, I'm just picturing Greg oh. here, like, like with the hair and the missing eye, but it's just him. Mike's microphone sounds a little different tonight. Yeah, oh, if it's just me or not. It does. Yeah. 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 It, it, it sounds a little more muffled than usual. It's, it's like you're talking through a sock. <laughs> yeah. That's really weird. And if you listen to it on the stream, you'll hear it. If, if that's you know, If you know, it's more like ham radio or walkie talkie. Yeah, that sounds about right. Like it, it, it is a little uh, muffled. So, I mean, we can still understand you and everything, but it's just not the normal, or as clear as we're used to, I should say. Anyway, he holds up a sheet of paper on his table, says, open the doors, please. And the doors open as two dwarves push the doors open, and he throws a paper airplane out the door. And he waits. And about a minute later, a very tall figure comes walking in. And you see the elf from before. Oh, well, who's <laughs> your friend? Sweet God. And as he walks into the room, very slightly brushes up against Solania. So I'm sorry. He gives you a wink. And Solania just like very like makes her like move so like no bads between them now. Like nope, not mm -mm. <laughs> Roche. You leave room for the tree. <laughs> I kinda looks over at you and goes Really? This guy? <laughs> Swear to God. And he goes into the room and goes, What can I help with right here? It's like, You see that thing? How much do you think that body's worth? Skin is worth. Elf goes over and inspects it like I have never seen anything like this before given its size surprisingly pristine condition considering there's a single cut no teeth claws are all intact can I make it shimmer a little bit you can try I mean, we do have the I... teeth I quietly pressed his station in to make it shimmer just a bit. Okay. It's unnoticed in this chamber. He glances over it. Well, it's definitely not from this world. I'd say you can off. Probably worth a good. 25,000 given the condition Ragdeer goes perfect I'll pay 20,000 and the chest 23 and the chest 20 and the chest
I'm confused. Why do we trust Elfman's opinion? How do we know he's actually a specialist? Do you have some kind of verification that says you are an expert on terrestrial life? He looks you up and down. Like, do you have any certification that you're well immersed in combat styles from various parts of the world? Yes. Do you want to see them? <laughs> yes, actually, I do. All right, here we go. And I take out uh, several very old-looking scrolls, uh, and so it's like. This was my basic training uh, when I was traveling with the Aurelian. Uh Here is some more martial training uh, from a hobgoblin captain that I uh, kind of not allied with. It was kind of like a enemy of my enemy thing. This is the uh, best thing that's come out of this camp. And then here uh, he takes out a third scroll that looks newer. He's like, here's some stuff I've been working out on my own. <laughs> oh, he I takes he this. takes them all and opens them up one by one. Are they real or are they fake? Oh, they're very real. Okay. The most succinctly <laughs> perfect. Fuck you. Yeah, this is why I love beef. You know that thing. slightly impressed mom look that like some parents get, just kind of like I'm not gonna say anything, but wow. Yeah. Just give him leave the nod of like bro respect like nice. Interesting. Everything is in place. You are the first person that I've ever asked that that has had an answer. Well then you've been dealing with some very untrustworthy people. Most people are these days. All right, it's actually worth thirty thousand. <laughs> I collect my scrolls. <laughs> <laughs> Ragnar goes. All right, I will accept twenty-five thousand in the chest. I thought the others like is that some crap? Can I like? This one knows that twenty-five thousand is less than fifty thousand. What was that, Rina? Can I insight him to see if he's messing with us? Who are you insight checking? The one who's saying it's worth twenty-five. The elf. <laughs> the elf told you it was worth thirty. Ragnar told you he'd pay 25000 plus give you your chest back. That he stole from you a long time ago. I'd also like to know if all the stuff is still in that chest, and how much, just how much of it he's taken out. Because if it's just an empty fucking chest... Uh, do, you, do you ask him that? Yes. That we're cro this is the crossover between Pawn Stars and Storage One. <laughs> the chest is empty. I just figured you wanted it back for sentimental value. Ah, okay. At this point, it's just the principle of the matter. 28,000. Oh, 22,000. 30,000. If you're going to go down, I'll go up. That's fine. We can sit here and debate this. Or we can just take our business elsewhere. I inspire Cal. <laughs> what do you say? I'm like, you got this, Cal. Cal, I'm gonna just let him handle this. Like, Ragnar gives you a I look of confusion. To handle this. Come on, guys. Come on, let your inner halfling out. This is like what they're made for. They're all about haggling. Guys, I have the lowest charisma in the group. <laughs> Use the luck of the change bringer. <laughs> hey, look, Ragnar. 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 
Red Dar Red Dar was my father. Red <laughs> No Red Rats. Uh, Oof. <laughs> God. <laughs> fucking. Uh. Yes, Abigail. <laughs> We know how much this is worth. We know that we also need a chest. So, 30,000 for both. You're going to pay yeah. me 30,000 for both? 30, no, you need you pay us 30,000 <laughs> plus the chest. It, that way This one heard correctly that the chest is empty. This one does not know if it is worth. Yeah, the chest is worth. So there's nothing, nothing in the chest at the moment. The chest is empty. It's my footrest. Alright. To be fair, it was mostly fair. empty when I got it. Either or, in order for us to go defeat the other emissaries, we will need a lot of funds for this. 30k for this serpent. And if you ever find where the chest, the um, stuff that were in the chest is... You can give it to us or whatever. I think he has but it. for now, we need to settle for this price. Fortunately, I won't settle for thirty thousand. I will settle for twenty-five thousand. I look towards Cal and. Do we want 25? I'll take whatever I can get personally. Perfect, 10 coins. No, no. <laughs> Garrus, shut the fuck up. 25 sounds fair. Okay, 25. The serpent is yours. 25,000 gold. I meant. Gold. 25,000 gold. I'll give you your chest back. Sounds fair to me. Anybody else have a problem with it, or are you good? I mean, you know my opinion about money, but that... <laughs> yes, but this will definitely help us. So yeah, I believe that's a deal. Perfect. And he kicks his feet up, pushes the chest toward you guys, it just slides across the floor. I stop it. Alright. You stop it, yes. and, it and it knocks you over. Keep sliding. <laughs> oh. The chest feels pretty heavy. Pretty heavy for an empty chest. Yep. I mean, it was pretty empty before. Or maybe Red just didn't find the secret compartment that Sporek left in it. So you guys gonna like look in the chest after uh, I like travel a uh, like owl that kind of hurt. I'm also asking. I'm assuming the rate of permanence has been arranged. Yes. to hear. Let's open it up over here. Alright, you open the chest. Oh god, killer mustard gas. There's a <laughs> bunch of there's a bunch of gold in it. It says twenty five thousand. 
Have you been spying on us? No. Insight check, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're not sure. Uh, fucking, I'll add inspiration to that. Okay. What is it, a D10 now? D6 still, I believe. I think it's a D8 until next level. I think it's level 12 is when it becomes a D10. For bars. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's very difficult to read. No, no, it's a D10 at 10th level. Oh, well, there you go. Do you want me to fix that? Sure. Ah, oh, you're not sure. Hard to read. Oh, either way. Either way, it's been taken care of. To be perfectly honest, it's all we had in the treasury, and I just put it all in. You saying that the treasury is empty now? The first one, yeah. When did you put the money in there? About three days ago. Okay, then why did you just tell us that the chest is empty? Because it wasn't. No, we were asking about now if the chest was empty. You said yes. Now it's full of 25,000 gold? But it was empty when I got it. Yeah, but I asked if there was anything left in the chest, and you said no, it was empty. It was. So I was referring to now, not when you got it. You should be more clear next time. I thought I was. Man loves the specifics. Either way, 25,000 in your chest. Alrighty. I'd say Cal carries it out, but I know that's not going to happen. So I'm assuming we can now travel unabated, or do we still need paperwork to get through the place? You'll be fine. The guards who you know you are at this point. <clears throat> yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a heavy chest. I'd say you put it in the bag, but I mean, I think we still have the heart and the venom sacks in there. I think we need to fit it in the bag first. <laughs> 25,000 yeah. gold for context is 500 pounds. Oh, I think we could actually afford a couple bags of holding at this point. Possibly. Well, I mean, between the six of us, that's less than a hundred pounds per person. Yeah, that's true. A hundred pounds is a lot to me. Also true. Fair, you have the strength of eight. I mean, yeah. You can still carry, like, 240 pounds. How much does your gear weigh? I mean, it's already, like, 87 pounds. Yeah, with a strength of 8. Okay, well, there, and, and I, I weigh. How about, how about this? How, how, about, how about this? We treat the two small folk as uh, one medium creature and split it five ways. So the medium people all have... Uh, 100 pounds of uh, gold, and the small folk both have 50 pounds of gold. 
for some reason but that I sounds like we're losing here. money. I mean, we still want our fair share. And I can carry a good, good chunk of things. Abigail's yeah, stronger than me. half of us. I'd say we still wouldn't mind probably looking into we can get a couple bag of bags of holding that would probably come in handy for all the things that we usually pack I agree we should probably invest in that we have to move it first though I just realized right here just kicked a chest of had 500 pounds plus just yeah. straight across the room yeah right, <laughs> uh, I mean, we uh, he's not raging though that was just straight strength <laughs> I mean, 20th level, you might have that 24. Oh, God. Keep in mind, this is a guy who wrecked our shit the first time we met him. Well, that's fine. I just remember that it's Josh, and he always makes everything level 20. That's true. Also true. Not everything. God. Most things. <laughs> okay, so I think it's uh, safe to say we can take our golden head out and maybe do a little shopping. Shopping! Yeah, that's fair. Alright, where are you going for shopping? Is there a magic shop around here? Probably a forge. They're dwarves. Yeah. Unless they really have the gnomes doing everything. What places do we know that has magical shops? Western. Western, Amon. Does? Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Should probably teleport there then. I don't think we have any more today, do we? Um, did we teleport more? No, we teleported to the serpent. We teleported here, so we got one more. Okay, fair enough. So we should all head to uh, the shop. Where are you going to shop? Yeah, Western or Iman, which one are we going to? I don't know which one. I haven't been here. I mean, I've been there, it's just I'm still new to this continent. You guys do remember that XOR wanted you to check back in on the else out. And it's closer to Whitestone. No, one of the MCs. So Is it? I mean, I guess if you're going by like roads, maybe. I really don't want to drag 500 pounds worth of gold to wherever that is. Also, do realize I can just summon a war horse, right? Can you summon an elephant? Because <laughs> that would probably be better than a war horse in this situation. I'm just throwing ideas out there, man. Have you seen an elephant? There's a lot to the south. They are horrifying creatures. I know how to turn into an elephant. Well, then there we go. And then once I turn into an elephant, he knows how to turn into an earth, turn his steed into an elephant, correct? Oh, I thought you were volunteering to just carry it as an elephant. Mine only lasts an hour. 
Ah. Pretty no, sure his key lasts until he summons it. Also, that's not how fine steed works. It is. They maybe hold off on the steed until we actually get to where we need to go. No need to make more things for us to teleport with. Mm -hmm. oh. Sir, is are we even going to be able to carry that chest through a teleport? Is that does that mean anything? Or I mean, I don't know how the spells work. How how heavy is weight. the chest itself? A good five hundred pound. No, the chest itself. Chest itself is like I think a chest is like twenty pounds. Yeah, that's how. Oh, right. that, then Le Leaf literally just picks up it. The... Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't, I can't, like, carry it over long distances, but I can lift it. Fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, also fair. Yeah, yeah, so we don't have to go outside to teleport. Also, for objects, uh, as long as it's within a 10-foot cube, I can teleport it. Yeah. Okay. I uh, wasn't sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's based off size, not weight, so it's fine. I... Yeah, I, I think that was a great teleporting object by itself, but yeah, something like yeah. that. I'm, it's basically just my lack of knowledge of actual spells in D&D &D and how they work. Uh, as, yeah, oh, as, 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 as long as we I can... just don't know anything. I, I, yeah, as, I, I as had to look it up older. myself, so... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I was, I'm just curious, so thank you for looking it up, though. I appreciate yeah, it. As, yeah. as, as long as any of us could hold it, any number, it doesn't have to be just one of us, then yeah, we could have brought it with us. Technically, you don't even have to hold it. You just have to touch it. That's true. Okay. So, guess we're heading to Western, then? Western. Okay. What Where I got from half the conversation I heard. Where <laughs> in Western are you teleporting to? Um, uh, We'll just go right outside the gates. Or don't we want to go to our place so we have a place to leave the chest? Oh, we have a place? Remember we were staying at, uh, Winston's? Yeah, we yeah. have a place at Winston's. Oh, uh, sorry, let me put my character voice on. We have a place? Yeah, we have a place at Winston's. Have you not been there? Well, I remember going to Winston's. I didn't realize that it was ours now. Well, not that place. We have a place in Western that Winston gave us a while back. Oh, that place. Yeah. Well, he didn't I... give it to you, but he could stay there. Well, I mean, we could stay there, but... <laughs> it's Still a place, hits. yeah. But, I mean, it's a place that we can stay and leave our stuff if needed. I mean, couldn't we buy a place just for, like, a random place for, like, a month or something? I don't know. I'm not about to put that in a lease. <laughs> yeah, <me either. laughs> I don't. I don't like to be tied down. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not about to be held accountable for I didn't think I was, I thought I was unmuted. Um, <laughs> God damn it! While I argue about this, can I check to make sure all my shit's still in my pockets? <laughs> you think he got picked? <laughs> I don't fucking know, I don't trust the fucker. <laughs> I mean... I told you to hold your purse. Yeah. I mean, Listen, I don't know if he put shit in my pockets. I don't know. Of all of us, you've got the best past perception, so if anyone else saw it, what would I feel you? like I would notice, but at the same time. Oh, you were the elf. elf. The elf did bump into her. Oh, yeah. that's true, yeah. You brushed up planted her. your number? Uh, anyway. He planted her, her number in her own pocket. Wow, that's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Yes. I mean, he's fucking psychic. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, amazing. Yeah, make an investigation check. Oh no! Yeah, you think all your stuff's there. You're pretty confident that none of your stuff is missing. God, I hope so. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> you okay there, Solania? Yep, I'm good. I'm just sitting here, like, awkwardly fucking pat patting my pocket. That's fine. I'm good. 
For now on, hold your purse. It looks like you were freaking out about something. Yeah, don't <laughs> worry about it. I'm fine. Oh, you guys ready? I just realized I haven't had a home in over a hundred years. That's so strange. I mean, home is where family is. Yeah. And family is what you make it. Non-stop for ever. Yeah, for, forever, huh? Says no man. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. No, man. You don't count. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Oh, Ouch. God. It's not very inspiring. Exactly. 1d4 psychic damage. <laughs> <laughs> Vicious mockery. Bam. Make a wisdom save. <laughs> what? I wasn't actually going to do it. Oh, jeez. I have a plus zero to wisdom. That's why I said it. Yeah, and now you're reaping the consequences of. <laughs> All right. That fails. Oh boy. Um. So as you make your comment, uh, you suddenly feel this feeling of regret just like wash through you that's it it's fine. That's all she it does. already depressed that's anyway it. <laughs> so it just added to her depression oh god Just see her cry a little bit as she walks off. Why is she leaving? We're supposed to be yeah, we're teleporting. 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 Come, come on back. We already teleported. Nope, not right. yet. Nope, not <laughs> we're yet. Still trying to figure that shit out. We're still arguing shit. All right, just teleport so I can walk off. <laughs> well, now I feel like we should probably talk about this before I teleport. <laughs> Yeah, you did kind of suddenly start crying. That's kind of something to be concerned about. Why? Crying usually means someone is sad. She's had a rough week. Anyway, um, I'll leave you guys to it. I've got more stuff to take care of. Stay safe. Yeah, it was good seeing you. Right, you as well. You never know what's working in the shadows. I hope you don't get possessed and we have to kill you. Bye. Nice sentiment. I agree. <laughs> that's, that's the sound, the sound that nomad that's just, <laughs> just the sound of nomad tearing reality. The sound of silence. <laughs> that's what forgiveness sounds like. Silent? <laughs> Screaming? And silence. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Almost with hats, everybody. Episode 2. Look it up. Oof. And Nomad just... Uh... What does he do? He gives... Uh... What does he do? <laughs> I'm trying to... I'm trying to figure out exactly how he... he does this too. Uh... He gives... Garrus... Uh... A white 
pat on the back, and then he's gone. Ooh. Fuck this. Someone uh, check to see what the fuck just happened. <laughs> yeah, Kavgum just looks. My condolences. My condolence. Good one, if you please check what the fuck is. Why? You look fine. I don't trust whatever the fuck he just did. Why not? He's Can we have this conversation, like, after we leave? Yeah, okay. seriously, you guys have been here for a while talking about... Leaving. Yeah, so let's just go. Yeah. I don't know. Abigail still looks sad. And I was told never to teleport while in a state of emotional trauma. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> this one believes that you all are suffering emotional trauma at almost every waking moment. I'm not. Is everybody emotionally traumatized? We need to talk about this. This is very From important. this conversation, yes. <laughs> but I'm let's not. deal with it because we're right here in Ragdeer's area and it would be a good idea to take our stuff and go to a private place that we can talk about this kind of stuff. This one thinks if we linger much longer, he might try to kill us. Well, then he'll let yeah, I might. Yes, Fine. so let's go. <laughs> Cobb yeah. just looks at Ragdare and just, this one appreciates your honesty. Please Fine, then we'll take our Ragnar conversation no outside. And no, Nomad is gone. Le yeah. Leaf takes the chest and just starts walking out. Yeah, just start walking. <laughs> then we walk out and follow the money. I mean, the chest. I mean, <laughs> Leaf. <laughs> I mean, all three. Uh, uh, at, at this rate, you would have given Garrus enough time to get more catches. So, Ania, you hear as the door creeps close behind you, you hear. What an odd group of adventurers. What? You said what an odd group of adventurers? Yeah, it, it. you can tell by the voice it came from the elf. not wrong on that one. This one forgot to grab the venom sacks from Nomad. Yep. Ha. Fuck. <laughs> why you should never give stuff to Nomad that you want to hold on to yourself. This one is sure we will find him again. Or will he find you? Ooh. We shall run into him again. Leave, can we please just, just, please. Hold on, we'll go outside and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> we, honey, a lot of us have emotional trauma. We're slowly working through it together as a group. Please. I would just like to. Leave. Really? Because we've never talked about it. How can we work together if we never talk about it? Because some people don't need to talk about it to work through it. That sounds like a toxic solution. I'll talk about it when we're not in... Here. We're not here. <laughs> then let's leave Craighammer! And he starts walking towards the exit to the city. <laughs> Why is the one who doesn't understand societal issues the most reasonable one? Leave. Because I was raised by a bunch of fucking hippies, that's why. <laughs> 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 meanwhile, Tell us get the biggest fucking headache. And meanwhile, Cob Cobham's just like, what is emotion? Because <laughs> he's a lizard. I kind of try to grab Leaf's hand to stop him. I was like, Leaf, let's just. He's holding this. a giant <laughs> chest with both of his hands. I am. She grabs that. <laughs> I grab. She the just jumps hand really high. The chest. Be careful! I might drop the chest on you by accident. <laughs> Talk about it when we get to Westfront. 
But that can take several days. I thought we are teleporting there. <laughs> we can't teleport while, while we're emotionally traumatized. How did we teleport here then? I was already emotionally traumatized. Yeah, we shouldn't have. I didn't know you were emotionally traumatized. But didn't you force us to because we were trying to take a couple days off so we could recuperate, but you forced us to go, so... That was Aaron, physically traumatized. Your fault. <laughs> well, now we even need to talk about it more because I, I, now I feel targeted. No, at this rate, I'm going to really break this. Can we talk about it when we get to West Run, please? Everything will be All fine. Right, Once I we guess. get to West Run, by teleportation, not by walking, please, thank you. I'm telling you, it's not good for the body. Okay, look. Well, <laughs> good. Then we'll just walk. <sighs> I'm not dealing with this shit, and I'm just walking off. To where? West Run. Because okay. why the fuck not? <laughs> so it's that awkward walking in the same direction. <laughs> except Cal is just really bad. No, except I'm way ahead of you because you're carrying 500 pounds of shit. It doesn't slow my speed. But you're going to have to eventually take a break before Cal will. Yeah, maybe once we get out of the city. Now, uh, when you get to the elevator that leads up to the main level of the city, so that you can walk out the front door. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are underground. Under the underground. So you guys awkwardly walk toward the exit, stand in the elevator as it slowly brings you guys up to the main surface, and the guard that's in there is just like standing there, like looking around. Noticing the uh, the tension in the air is just like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, while we're here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just walk out the front door, and the guard that's standing there goes, "Have a good day." Give him the cow doesn't even look back. Good, good day. You guys can begin your walk toward Western. Either you guys can start talking now, or we're walking the whole way to fucking Western. So make up your dis make your decision now. I'm completely open to talking about. It. This is a safe. What do you want me to talk about? Well, how are you feeling? Let's start I with feel that. Whatever what happened there, something made me regret, but that like went away instantly. I don't know what happened. Hmm. Maybe it was some kind of magical presence. I don't know. This one believes it might be because you insult a nomad. That could be it. This one will not find that surprising. I didn't mean to insult him though. Josh, can I like it's like it just didn't count because you know he's always going to many different timelines and everything, and I haven't left this timeline. Josh, can I can I make a check to see if that sounds like uh, it was magical or if it was just like something a bit more natural? You can make an Arcana check. Oh yeah. Let's see how this goes. Holy shit! You're guessing it was something magical. Well, actually, that doesn't sound like emotional trauma. That just sounds like... Yeah, I, I think... The only thing that you know that I'm going through is what happened with... You know... The whole dying and we being had it, back. the whole yeah that. Why? But we had a two day rest, so. Right. Wait, you were traumatized by dying? No. Oh. I was okay. traumatized because of the things I saw when I was gone. Oh. There was that... a hag who tried to. 
not only eat me, apparently, but trying to convince me that you're all against me. And then I saw a vision of my mom when I was younger and it traumatized me there because I couldn't save her from my father. So I I couldn't stop it. I couldn't stop the visions. It just kept going and going and going. And then they told me that Cal shot me and yes led me to believe that he literally shot me with his actual gun not some kind of psycho or psych uh, psychic damage thing that was gonna destroy the demon emissary so i don't know it was just a lot of things i saw i needed a rest i needed to get those thoughts out of my head i'm not going to lie that sounds like a very terrible afterlife it was. It you might, was, it, you, you might want to make some changes in your life. If that's what's waiting for you. It's not. That's oh. not where it's leading me. It was just somewhere I was taken. I don't know if what... Um, I don't know how I ended up there. But from what I know, I will be with... Sarah and Ray when I die and I didn't see her so I wasn't dead apparently well, well if you didn't actually die then maybe you just had a dream then it could be it but that's that's what I'm going through, guys. Sorry. Well, you don't have to apologize for having problems of emotion or faith or whatever it is uh, you would classify this as. Yeah. Well... I know it's going to be in my thoughts for a while, but I'm not, I'm not sad as I was before. I think because with Solania's help and Cal's just, Cal, you leave, you're silly, but whatever. You make sense. It is a good idea not to teleport with emotions and could backfire. Well, I hope this has made you feel better. Then. It did, thank you. I think it was worth the uh, trying to convince us to stop and talk. It's just, whatever I felt back there was because of some sort of regret of saying what I said to Nomad, but honestly, I didn't mean it that way. He just took it that way. Sometimes our words hurt others, and without us thinking... So I'm sorry about that, Nomad. Oh, he's, he's no longer here. He left. I'm sure he can hear me. <laughs> and that leaf just kind of like looks up like around like... No one feels like God. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably. <laughs> it's like all nomad, I don't know. All knowing nomad. I think I'm ready for the teleportation. I'm good. Great. Who would like to go next? Anybody else needs to talk? And talk with Leaf. I think everybody is gone. <laughs> I'm still here. How are you feeling? Come. 
So, I mean, there is the whole nervousness of, you know, confronting a guy who, you know, Oh, that's Garrus. I thought that was Kavl. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I thought that was Ryan that spoke, not, not Nestor, my bad. Uh, it's, it's, it's fine. Kavl was just staring up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, just direct that question towards Garrus then. <laughs> it's fine. There is the whole dealing with, you know, that guy as a point down to where we were. Right, like, your father. Sure, let's go with that. Also, could one of you please check to see why the fuck uh, Nomad pats me on the back? This one thinks it may be pity. Oh, well, I assume they have to do about the next time that we see him. Nomad does things that I do too. He inspires us, and I'm pretty sure that's what he did with you. <laughs> Kavgrim goes from looking up to look at Garrus's back. Except he said not to inspire you guys often because it might blow your heads off. So I'm probably going to stop doing that. This one thinks he was fucking with you. You never know. <laughs> but is there actually anything on Garrus's back shoulder? No. It's a sticky note that says kick me. That's what, I, that's what I was, I was worried no, about. No, it's just been painted on his armor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, press the digitation. Detect magic. This one does not <laughs> see anything. That's comforting, at least. Yes. I'm just pretty... Every time I have dealt with him, he's never been a nut... Uh, relaxed situation. It's very hard to be in front of those who either raised you or mentored you in a negative way. I mean, you get it right. There's just this... This is for this, but we're not exactly the touchy feely types. Mm. Different people show love in different ways. I mean, from what it sounds like, you guys uh, had to fight him. And he didn't kill you. That's a good example of showing love. He spared your life. He didn't have to do that. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's that. There's that. Um... God. There's also the whole thing of like I am now realizing that there's a sibling out there I thought was dead that may not be dead, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Oh, that's great. Maybe, possibly, because Nomad's cryptic as fuck. Oh, you learned that from Nomad. Yeah. So. Oh. I, I don't. I don't know how reliable that information is. Yeah, it might. He might have just been alive relative to Nomad, and so. Relative to you, he's still dead, but relative to Nomad, he's alive. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Just gonna be something I'm gonna have to investigate on my own. Well, in the event that he's alive, then that's a great boon for you. You have more family than you uh, thought you had. <laughs> that the sister that I thought died is could be alive. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Oh, well. Well, there you go. 
Sounds more like good news. Maybe. Anyone else care to what? unload their baggage while we're here? Is Shalani and Cal here, or did they just straight up leave? I mean, we're all walking the same direction, right? I don't know how. Did you guys stop to talk about that? Because I've just oh yeah, I, ass- I assumed we. Time. I I just assumed like we stopped right outside the city gates. Oh no, me and Cal just kept going. Because because the ultimatum Cal said was, "Are we gonna talk or are we gonna walk?" And we started talking, so I assumed that meant we weren't walking. I assumed we were talking and walking. I assumed I was like sitting on the chest. <laughs> no, in in all honesty, if we were gonna stop and talk, we were gonna stop and talk. But if we if I, it was either one or the other. We weren't going to be walking the Uh-oh. whole way and talking, so. Well, oh, there we go. We'd, we'd probably work. be out there listening, so. Okay. I'm probably just, like, laying on the ground, like. <laughs> like, face down? Like, just, no, like, on my back, just all sprawled out, just, like, kind of laying there, just listening. <laughs> Cobgum's just sitting on Corsham. Cal's just cleaning his gun. <laughs> well, uh. Shalania, Cal. What? Which of you would like to go first? I'm playing the violin right now. (laughs) Yes! It's an illusionary spell. There's just kind of like just waves of, I don't know, lights and stuff circling us. Clearly, this is going to be the group therapy episode. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> episode title is Group Therapy with Leaf. I love it. Leafing your worries behind. <laughs> that that like one. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> I well, typing it up right now. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. Uh, well, well, Cal, uh, you seem pretty angry back at the city. Anything I'm fine. you'd I like just to say? To go. Can I insight check? I would also <laughs> like the insight check. <laughs> sure. Cal, go ahead and roll uh, to me your persuasion or deception. Oh yeah, I'm not good at it. Hey, dirty twenty. <laughs> I need to act like a therapist more often. I I, I roll really well when I do, apparently. <laughs> um, <laughs> you both have luck. Yeah, you both believe him. Okay. Well, if anything you want to talk about in the future, we're always open to it. Um, Salonia. You you always seem very stressed out. Cause she's babysitting five kids. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Constantly. <laughs> Sometimes you guys make very dumb decisions that stress me out. Alright, that's fair. That's fair. Would you like to give an example? You know, the fun fact is, I can't think of any of the stupid shit any of you guys have done. It's just all in one ear, not the other. Kind of like it just happens, and I'm just like, ah. So just a general level of stupidity. Sometimes. Well, uh, I can start, and I apologize for anything that might have stressed you out. Uh, I just, I came here for a very specific mission, and sometimes I feel like 
we're getting bogged down in the details while we can be doing good I understand uh, all of you believe those details to be a crucial part of life and I am trying to understand life here in the north but nevertheless I do apologize for any stress I might have caused you Salon it is okay. The stress is more from worry, because you guys are like family to me, so I guys want you safe. So sometimes just running into things stresses me out, because I want everyone safe. Well, I can understand that, but at the same time we are... Attempting to save the world from an otherworldly threat, and that can be very dangerous. Uh, it's also very strange to think that sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm older than all you guys. That messes me up sometimes. How old are you, Solania? I'm 120. Oh. That is twice okay. of what I will ever be. You're you're only and, a few and, years older than me. And, and that just got very dark. <laughs> cough, cough, you're, cough. you're about 10 years older than me. <laughs> <laughs> Kafkum just looks at Garrus confused. I mean, I guess we're just both the older two in the group. Oh. Cow, how old are you? 38. What? I'm relative to a human. <laughs> Is that relative to humans? That's 38 and halfling. 38 and halfling, that's really young. I mean, yeah. I gotta double check a thing now. <laughs> <laughs> well, where I come from, uh, age is just a number. It's more about experience, uh, who is best for a job, that kind of thing. Sure. <laughs> Older okay. people often have more experience, but for different jobs, that may not necessarily be the case. Okay, I'm flying seven. Am I the youngest one here? Uh, um, actually, you're older than Garrus. He's like in his mid twenties. Uh, Leaf is early thirty. Oh, okay. Kavgum is 15. <laughs> relative to a lizard folk. He's just a boy. <laughs> yeah, relative to a so lizard folk, he's 25. Out. Yeah, yeah, relative For to a lizard folk, he's done, 25. Age checks out. Mm. <laughs> yeah, all of Garrus' decisions make complete sense now. Is definitely old enough to be mature enough at this point. When she hit 20, you're adult. <laughs> it doesn't mean you're mature. True, Not true. as mature, but you you reach adulthood at 20. That's I, I reached that long time ago. <laughs> I'm still immature. <laughs> yeah, there's the... Um... Okay, now we have that settled. Oh, I had to be mature, so... Uh, Kelly, you should just know baggage you want to air out now. No, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, I'm fine. Nothing's bothering you? I mean, just... I mean if you want me to be 100% honest, these questions are bothering me. That That's about it. But I mean... So I, I just kind of starts I'm like fine. moving... Uh, her mm -hmm. arms like, hey, like sorry. Snowing. Well, not status. from you. I'm just saying from just everybody. In the dirt. 
Alright, cause... I've, I've got nothing going on, I'm fine. I just wanna yeah, make sure that we're cool it's, it's, when we go it's to not, still. Yeah, it's, it's not good to push someone... If, if Cal believes that he is in the right mindset for travel, then... He, he's probably right. I have no emotional baggage whatsoever right now. So you be good when the lights out. God, I want to inside check that so bad. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> probably you... not going to get as good of a roll this time. So I need another uh, GM roll. Holy yep. shit, I rolled the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't sound convincing, but he's also not lying. It's more like it's 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 like, it's like when your your girlfriend says she's fine, but you know she's not fine. Eh, not quite that level. It's it's more like uh, a pilot who uh, is used to stressful situations is saying they're fine, and so it may sound stressful, but in actuality, it's more their their usual normal. Yeah, yeah, they are <laughs> fine relative to themselves, maybe not relative to normal. Yeah. <laughs> so yes and no. <laughs> so the question is, what do you do with that? I'm putting so, my stuff away. Hmm. Are we free to travel? Yeah, I I suppose we'll be fine. Uh, I suppose if we randomly end up in Whitestone, then. We randomly end up in Whitestone. Yep. That is a large margin of error. That, that, that is a margin of error by several miles. Well, I, I it's less about I random chance and more about how the, the spell works. Um, sometimes when someone is emotionally distressed, it has uh, a chance of taking them to the source of that fear. So. Oh, that's... good. So, it's, I'm glad we edited that out, because we could end up right back in that office. And now this one understands what happened to that one person who was raving in the streets. Sure. <laughs> Is that why Nomad didn't teleport with us? Because he has some kind of baggage with him? No, I think he just had all this stuff to do. He didn't want to go shopping. Oh. This one has seen many things. You would think somebody who has all the time in the world would be less busy. Can we go shopping now? Yes, let's just go to Western then. To the shops. Shall we divide this equally among each other? Now, or do you want to travel first? Let's get to our abode before we... Yes, let's not carry a giant chest full of a lot of money around town. Alright, then Some I reason. will... Uh, once everybody wow. is close together, uh, holding hands, I will teleport us to Western at Winston's estate. Solana just stands up and, like, brushes herself off. It's like, all right, let's go. As you stand up after being teleported, well, you, yeah, you, never mind. You you all gather in a circle. I was like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. You all gather in your circle. <laughs> yeah. You just gather around Solani and just kiss <laughs> feet. You gather in your circle, and Leaf casts the teleportation spell, and you all get the familiar feeling of being whisked through space. 
before arriving at the location that is Winston's Manor. Woo! Except something's different. What? You arrive standing on a pile of rubble. And as you look around, the entire city is in ruin. Smoke is coming off of some buildings. You hear distant crying. People are moving around, digging through various pieces of rubble and this general this sense of destruction radiates from the whole atmosphere of the place. And we're going to take a break right here. But before you do, Cal would like to immediately say, whatever this is, I didn't fucking do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Leaf is just side-eyeing the out. crap out of, Le- out of Cal right now. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> and we go to break. <laughs> Okay, guys, we will be back in about 10, 15 minutes, so we'll see you shortly.
we are back. Welcome back. Now to your wasteland. Oh god, they're all dead. So what what's you? what's what's left of the house? Nothing. It's all rubble. Honestly, I'm impressed we even got this far. Usually when something like this is, like, destroyed, it just sends me elsewhere. This one feels like you've seen this before. This one does not know why. Alright. <laughs> this one thinks we should... find... I'm just Winston. <laughs> that is his name. Well, maybe we should go to the other place he stays. Or the yeah. professor. Uh, we could see the professor, or do we? Uh, I saw the cow. Do we have a way to get back into that safe house? I don't know, in all honesty. Is this somebody's, like... I mean, is the safe house even there? Emotional thing? Like, did we teleport somewhere we're not supposed to? Well, I, I, I would have felt it if we went somewhere that I wasn't planning on us going. Uh, if I... Is there anybody, like... That I see. I mean, there's people wandering the streets. They seem to be looking for something or someone. Okay, so they're not just wandering around like nothing's happening. No, no. they're okay. They're wandering okay. like aggressively. They're not really stopping. Okay. It... okay, gotcha. That small child is carrying a severed arm. Yes. <laughs> carrying what? A severed arm. <laughs> I point to a child that's carrying a severed arm, like it's a doll or something. Oh, that this gets scarred for life. This one thinks that it's not good for a youngling to see. Covered cow's eyes. This one does not know. <laughs> what are we doing? Cover cow's eyes. <laughs> um. We do not have time to make jokes. What are we doing? Oh, uh, we well, we we came here for to so buy gonna... stuff. But I don't think any shops are here. I think we need to find somebody and ask them what the hell happened. Slavi is gonna go up to the first person that she kind of sees wandering and try to stop and ask what happened. Have you seen my baby? Oh God! I'm trying, man. Do we know where this Winston is? Uh, where, where's, where does he stay? Like, uh, was that other than place? here? Like, why did he get, let us stay at his house? Because he wasn't because, here? Yeah, um... So where, where is like he when he's not here? the town, I wanna say? Oh, good. Uh, the the Margaret's Keep. Then let us go there. If yeah. even there. We will find out when we get there. We do not have time. Let's go. Yeah, Gogram doesn't know where that is, so he's waiting for somebody else to start going. <laughs> I'm right. trying to remember if I've been there. You have been there, Leaf. Either way, some of you have been there. So you guys make your way yeah. to the Margaret's <laughs> Keep. Uh, yeah, it's just find... time to start going. <laughs> yeah. It, you find most of the building is destroyed. There, there's probably like one quarter of it left standing. But it looks abandoned. The fuck happened here? And I'm guessing the buildings along the way look much the same. Yep. There's a lot of ruin and destruction. 
Can we, like, check to see what happened to the buildings? Like, were they burned? Blown up? Yeah, make, a a, make an investigation or nature check. Uh, I think both of those suck for me. I will make an investigation check. I'll do nature because, I mean, background. I'll be doing investigation as well. But I'll probably fail. Hey! Dirty one! <laughs> <laughs> I want to look around the rubble, too. Okay, investigation. Uh, so Lonnie's just kind of, like, very confused and, like, very teary, like, looking around, like, I don't, I don't understand what happened. Like, she's really upset about everything. Yeah. Um, so, Kavgum and Abigail, you can tell... Or Kavgum, I should say, because you're actually investigating what happened. Mm -hmm. um, you can tell that these buildings were burned. Largely. Okay. Uh, no hints of any explosion or anything like that. Well, is that you got to... There was no hint of any explosions. Okay. Um, Abigail, so, as you search through the rubble, um, you don't find anything. I don't see anybody, anything in these rubbles, so at least that's a good sign. They have all been burned. Can we tell how recent? Um, my mistake. It wasn't actually burned. It was oh. more... Uh, it's more melted. Like... Corrosion. Okay. More of a corrosion than a... Yep. Okay. Back to the, these buildings have all been melted. This one does not know what could have caused this. This one assumes it is powerful. What melts buildings? Acid. Well, I think she melt a lot of things. Severe heat. You guys would notice, too, that there's nowhere near as many people wandering around the street as there used to be. Well, yeah. We were gone, like, what, a week? You've Definitely been gone for two and a half weeks. Oh, yeah, two and a half weeks. Yeah, does my investigation yield how recent this was? This was. All this probably took was a couple hours at most. It would not. Okay. It's not currently corroding. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's not current, but okay. Can I send a message? To whom Please. would you like to send your? Message? Um, to Winston. Okay, what are you saying? As I'm looking through the rubble, I'm, I haven't said it yet, but as I'm looking through a rubble, I'm going to be like, Winston, um, we are back at your home. Are you safe? If so, come to us, or we can come to you. We're sorry. The person you were trying to reach is no longer in contact. The number you've called... Is that what it said? To speak with or... the representative, press 9. <laughs> Fuck, it's been disconnected. I press 9. <laughs> <laughs> Acknowledged. The person you were trying to reach is no longer in contact. Does the voice sound familiar? No, it sounds like... No. It sounds, weird. <laughs> it, it sounds weirdly fake. 
Yeah. Almost synthetic. Yeah, weirdly fake. <laughs> well, I try to get in contact with Winston and some weird robotic sounding voice repeated back that he was not there. So long as if he's... Sorry, go ahead. Can you become the professor? That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, he can contact the professor. Hello, professor. It's me, Abigail, your favorite student. Are you there? We are here in um, Whitestone. No. Western. Are we? Yeah, West restaurant. Yeah. We are here in restaurant. We can come to you or you can come to us. Come to the college. What? Should he come to the college. Come to the college. Come to the college. Oh, the professor is at the college. Then we will head that way. Coffin just starts going. <laughs> I know the direction. I'm so excited to go. Let's go. <laughs> this one thinks it is not a time for excitement. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Coffin's already going. <laughs> All right. So you. Go to the college. You find a lot more people kind of gathered in this part of town surrounding the area where the college is. As as we get close to the college, Kafka is going to hold down on the radar. Okay. Paranoid now. <laughs> yeah. You get nothing. Okay. Just gonna keep doing that until otherwise stated. Okay. Yeah, everybody kind of looks at you as you stand out tremendously. It's, they all look worn and exhausted. And we're not. Yeah, they, they've been through hell. I, I mean, we also might look a bit worn and exhausted, but... but not, not, to the same degree. not to the same degree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> still haven't healed yeah. after the fight. <laughs> yeah, ours looks recent. So does theirs. Fair enough. <laughs> ours is less severe then. Um, you find massive piles of dead bodies pushed off to the sides. Blocking off certain portions of uh, the roads, some seem to be piled inside of buildings. Uh, kind of just stuck anywhere that they would go for now without being in the way. And you make your way into the, the main college area. And you find XOR is waiting for you. How does he look? Tired, but fine. Okay. This one wants to know what has happened here. I don't want to know what happened to you guys. This one thinks this takes precedent. Mm, maybe. We got the great sir. The who? We've been Not fighting the emissaries. emissaries. Good. Found the last one then. We still have two more. Uh, yeah, we'll right. two more. But you know two. this is one. Yeah. We did not know of it. Yeah, yeah, yes. We, we now have known of all ten. We have hunted down eight. Good. We were attacked. A while ago. Now. A dragon came down from the mountain. And then another dragon. We didn't stand a chance. 
We are without a good supply of buildings. Our leader is gone. Most of the city's defenses have been crumbled or destroyed. And to be honest, I don't know what the fuck happened. What color? Not sure. Happened at night. Although, the corrosion tells me it was the black dragon. One of them, at least. The other one would have had to have been something else, as it didn't lob acid through the air. It caused everything in its wake to turn against us. In a weird purple tinted breath. Once the attack was done, we rested briefly, and I mean briefly, before the shadows of the dead came and attacked us. If it weren't for the magic keeping the college standing, various temples in the temple district, well as I think the main government building or the last refuge was holding up. we would have been wiped completely a few days ago the shadows left randomly did they head anywhere specifically? not sure we've been tending to the wounded and the dead Lost track of time, quite frankly. Well then, Professor, what's the plan? Well, we'll take care of everything here. You guys have your own business to do. Have the dragons returned since they attacked? No. We don't know where they went either. But they came down from Gat Shadow. From where? Gat Shadow. It's a mountain overlooking them. It's the tallest mountain overlooking the city. Where the ancient black dragon Umbrasil used to live. But that's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> You, you think me, Pamper? Cog and just turns in the party. This one does not know what we should do. 
Well, we can't really do anything until tomorrow morning. I'm all out of teleportation. I'm just hoping these dragons don't attack the next villages or villages or towns or. Well, we could always try and send a message to something in the other towns and see if they've heard of anything like this. Who can I send a message to? If I remember right, uh, the next towns from here would be either Kaimel to the southwest or Terrace Fields to the northeast. I mean, we were just in Terrace. So you think you were you were in first yesterday. I mean unless those dragons rapidly Actually, moved. You were in Terse this morning. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and this th this has happened at least from This is all the same day. <laughs> yeah, 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 at least from our standpoint, this has happened a few days ago at bare minimum. Oh, maybe they're headed west, we don't know. Maybe they're How fast towards can them dragons fly? Can you contact the Sharp Lord? Contact who? William Sharp. William Sharp? That is what I said. Who's William Sharp? The guy we were. The guy who made with the, the radar. radar. Yeah, the one that yeah. made the radar. The one who lets you we sit in classrooms? In his school on the outskirts of a outskirts of Amon. The orphanage slash school? Yeah, we're Solani Yeah, we're Solani Amon the two kids. Yes. Because they're being she's because one mom, of them was being a dis She's <laughs> mommed a lot, so <laughs> Yeah, she's mom full so everywhere. Out. Yeah, I mean Solani is the oldest one of us. I'll send a level four spell. No, don't use all your spells. I mean, if we can wait till tomorrow, we just can get some really? rest. Really, I used it. Okay. <laughs> Hi, William. It's me, Abigail. Just wanted to make sure that everything's safe. If there's dragons afoot. Make sure your town is aware. Two dragons destroyed. Rest run. You hear a uh, woman's voice in a response. It says, uh, yes, hello, Abigail, was it? Uh, I will take your message and give it to the Lord once he is available. That was the first. Is that how that spell works? I'm just curious as a player. You go straight to the actual person, but I don't know. Hey, we don't know. I'm a, I'm a weird bard. Okay, things are different. <laughs> uh, during all of this, Solani just kind of like sits down and is like trying to stop her tears as she just like very sadly looks around at everyone. And the next one is Maggie, <laughs> right? The one that was. Well, we are literally like Solani. just in Turst. Yeah, yeah. at least you can warn them if the dragons are going to be over there. I mean... Cal goes over and tries to give us to you. a hug. I'll send a level 5 sending. Bonnie okay. will accept it. Accept the hug. Like, hey Maggie, it's me Abigail. We saw you this morning, but just letting you know that Respun was attacked by two dragons. Be careful if they're heading your way. Get no response. <laughs> like did it go through it went or? through it just didn't get a response it means one of two things either she either doesn't she respond doesn't or she's too busy i mean from what we know of maggie from what we know of maggie it seems likely that she just wouldn't respond <laughs> 
think that's a fair assumption. Just, oh, that's weird. Voice in my head. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anybody else? I have two more settings left. Do you know anyone in Crimal that would be to the southwest? If they went west, they probably hit Kaimel for a month. Make sure to save at least one of those uh, spell slots for a uh, bubble. Because it's probably going to be the only way we can truly be safe for a night. It's a ritual for me, so I can cast it any time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She doesn't need a spell slot for that, as long as she can take the time to cast Just checking. Yep. Yeah, magic. Hey, I don't know these things. I, I know. That's, that's why I said, yeah, magic. This one thinks it may be valuable to let the fire will know. If he doesn't already. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea. Hey, Fario, hi, it's Abigail. Just letting you know, uh, West Run was attacked by two dragons. We are safe, but the town is destroyed. Not sure where the dragons are heading off to. We're dealing with it. Mario said he's dealing with it. Take care of your stuff. And take care of our stuff. Kafkan just nods. So I guess we're just focused on the emissaries and not worried about those dragons. XOR is still standing there and he looks at you and goes, who is that? Who? The people you just contacted. People from other towns? I mean, I recognize some of those names. William Sharp, they're, I'm guessing. They're just people yes, I yes. know in those towns. Like, I don't know any everybody, so... I just... Mention to the only people that I know that way they can warn like the authorities or the mayor or whoever is in charge of the town Okay Interesting. Make a deception check Oof. Mm. Okay. He doesn't acquire any further. Inquire any further. Fair. <laughs> Concerning, but fair. Wait, what did he acquire? He did. He does not a in acquire. Yeah, I got that. I was just fucking with that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I assume. Careful, I'll pour some river from the water sticks over you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> going back there. <laughs> Always. I mean, I only do it because you continue to do that one. <laughs> oh, like anyways. That. Do we have anything else we need to do here? Considering. I mean, I don't think there's anything, anything we can do. Have to camp outside. Well, yeah, we're gonna have to find some place to camp, but can't exactly shop here yeah which is why it might be uh if we're okay to go to Amon, maybe go shopping there we could try head, to, Turst, head to Amon but... tomorrow or we could try Turst fields but I, i'm not sure if they I, have what we need i don't know we'll get there just in time for the dragons to attack i mean either or i mean i don't imagine Turst would have it so i guess Amon's our best bet Do dragons have... I don't know. Can they see through my bubble? As far as we know, nothing seems to have been able to, but we don't know. I know, I don't know. You know, the narcissist couldn't see through it, but he could hear it and sense it. Yeah, so it seems reasonable that maybe they can as well. Yeah. The narcissist seems bad on par with a dragon. At least as far as we know.
We've never fought a dragon by ourselves, though, so. Well, okay, so let's just camp out and start a day. Feels wrong not to help. Feels wrong not to what? Help. This one thinks you may be able to do something to help them. I mean, we don't have to go sleep now. We can try and help for a little while. Sonia just, like, very harshly, like, scrubs out her face and is like, I'll, I'll be back, you guys. I'm gonna try and help where I can, I guess. I'm coming with you. I'm coming I'm... with. I didn't realize we were... I'm sorry. I'll, I'll go with. I'm going to go hunt, see if I can find these people some food. Sounds good. What about the chest? Well... Give me a couple minutes. I can... How I much do just... you trust the professor? Can we leave it with him? How about somebody stay with the professor? This one will stay. Is that something Could... for everybody? Yeah. Should we be separate this? Before we go our separate ways? I mean, let's not let anybody go completely by themselves. This if one I think there. I want to go to the hospital if there is one where like the little people are at. That way yeah. I can go heal them. I think they're probably triaging people in either the temple or the college. Or both. Or both. Probably yeah. both. What do you think, Professor? Where will they yeah. be at? Give me two, five, two seconds. Probably the temple. Okay. I'll be heading to the temple. Ready, Castellania? Yep. Leaf, you're gonna go hunt? I am going to go hunt, see if I can find food for these people. As much as I can get. Okay. I'm going to assume that there's like... Just like a bunch of like wagons that are just like lying out, cause... Like... So many people have died that there's probably just like wagons just lying around. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to take a wagon and take it out into the countryside and try and load it up with as much food as possible. Whether that's animal cor uh, uh a animal corpses or just like Wild. anything I find in the farms. Yeah. There are there is the farmland around Western. Grains, cabbages, potatoes. <laughs> Whatever you can find. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it's basically any food. We're we're in winter, so I all I have to do is check the storehouses of the farms. That is fair. If they're not destroyed. Assuming they're not destroyed, that is also true. <laughs> Make a survival check. All right. Yeah, only got a 13. That, that's a stealth. Oh, my bad. It's right, ne it's right next to the survival. Yeah, no, uh, I, I I had to check myself too. So that would actually be a 12, not a 13. Oof. My wisdom is not as good as my death. You know, I mean, sometimes... you still have that inspiration. I did touch your hand. And it has less, it's, it hasn't oh, been I, an hour yet. I didn't realize I got, wait. It has been more than ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have it for an hour, isn't it? No, it's ten, ten minutes, minutes usually. Inspiration is ten minutes. Don't think you're that kind of bard. I don't think there's any kind of bard that lets you have it for an hour. All right. 
it takes you a long time, but you do gather a decent amount of food. You're guessing you could probably feed half the people that were there? Half the people at the college? At, at the college, yeah. At least well, give I mean, them a, a meal. That's... Well, we can, we can feed all okay. of them, just not entirely. Yeah, just m make a bunch of soup. Really, really spread that food out into, into <laughs> nice soup. You could. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> it's not like you know. <laughs> not like you know somebody who knows how to cook. That I guess technically that's true. I do I know mean, somebody. You don't. Oh, do <laughs> I not? I mean, you don't, because Coughlin's never displayed the ability. Oh well. I. We, we can have that roleplay sesh where I come yeah. back with half the food needed and you're just like, give me an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where are the corpses? <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> I, that is not what I thought you meant. <laughs> what? I don't have to know it, people. No. I'm kidding. No. Kidding. no. Calgon would not do that because he knows Yikes. that. <laughs> Yeah, well, 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 no, it's it's also Kavgum. Kavgum is aware that people, that, that, that the soft skins don't like eating themselves. Yeah, if it's not even an option in, like, Frostpunk, then it's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> Kavgum is okay with the concept, but he knows that most people are not, so he will not do that. Good. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like even Leaf would have a problem with that. Just, uh. Not to mention, like, those corpses have probably been sitting there for a few days. So, just out, 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 out in the street. Fine, I can give myself a plus 18 to that check. It's fine. Uh. No, I'm not gonna do that. I think that all yeah, that I'm you would get. I think all you would get from that check is this isn't a viable option. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. Where are you setting the hut up at? Oh wait, you're still never mind. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're uh, skipped a few hours. They're off doing Yeah, yeah, they're off yeah. doing some healing. Yeah, you guys go to the temple district and find the only intact temple basically left uh, completely untouched. Not sure what deity this is for, but you go inside. Find that. Yeah, there's a few people here being triaged. Most people seem to be recovered and at least moving around. Some lying in not critical condition, but wounded. The priests welcome you. Hello. We are here to help if we need it. I look around, I'm pretty sure he does. She responds, yeah, yes, actually, we could use a bit of help. Can you take me to your most injured? They're right here. Andrew. How many are there? About a dozen. They are the last remaining wounded. I'm going to cast mass cure wounds on verse 6 and then they all gain 20 okay yeah and there. then the next 6 is going to be a level 6 spell Uh, 
Bam, bam. Okay. You cure them of their wounds. They continue resting, but they look better. Which is understandable for everything that's... Oh, funny. God, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just because all your physical wounds are healed doesn't mean you're not... Bad. Doesn't mean you're back to 100. Yeah. Yeah. That'll help with the healing process, though. How can I'm we sorry help? what happened here. What else can we help you with? We could use food if you have some. One of our companions is searching now. But... I can go out and try and see if I find I don't want you to stress yourself if you don't need to. We have some. We can survive. Appreciate your kind. Well, if you need us, you, um, my name is Abigail. Um, I'll be traveling, but if you need anything, just, if you know anybody who can send a sending spell, just let us know. I think I can manage that. Oh. And if those dragons return, don't hesitate to call us. We'll try to get back as soon as we can. We will see. I know we said it was fine, but I want to come try and skip them, please. Try and what? Food. You want to find food? I want to try to help. Yeah. Or make a survival check. How will help? At advantage. Inspiration. You find a little bit scattered throughout the district. It's enough to make a couple meals, but not a lot. She's still going to bring it back. Like, it isn't much, but. We supplement meals for someone. I'm sorry I couldn't find more. It is appreciated nonetheless. Thank you for your services. I think you'd probably try and mix it into like a soup of some kind, but I don't know, you probably have somebody there for there there for that. We can see what we can do. Might stretch it a little bit more that way. Thank you all for your help. Still feel like I haven't done jack shit to help. Yeah, but sorry. yeah! Sorry we couldn't do more. You did what you could. That's what appreciates. We appreciate that. So, so I'm guessing we're probably just heading back to the college, right? Sure. I guess? I don't know. <laughs> sure. Along the way, just kind of try and help anyone. That I see all the way, I guess. I think okay. Abigail's gonna go find that one lady who was looking for her baby and try to help her search for the baby. Okay, make a survival check. Uh, 
So I know you don't find anybody else on the way there. Everybody has pretty much been moved or piled into a pile. You are unable to find the woman. It's also been several hours, so you're guessing either she found her baby or gave up. Or, or something else. Yeah, hard, well, hard to say. That, that, that something else is what bothers me. I don't me. like that something else. Yep. Yeah, while well, they're doing their thing, they'll help anyone looking for any belongings. Sure, make an investigation check. Absolutely terrible. Yeah, don't help anybody. Does he make things worse? Nope. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> you can't find doesn't anybody. Help, to make but it doesn't worse. make it worse. Yeah, that's uh, good. That's yeah. It's the best kind of failure we can hope for, I guess. It's just some neutral. Didn't help it didn't fuck it up worse. <laughs> yeah. After you all help out in your various ways, some <laughs> of you more effectively than others. Yeah. You reconvene back at the college. from here, figuratively speaking. We know where one is. Where one what is? I'm sorry? That is what this one was assuming. Oh, unless I we're, Unless we are stopping to him on. Yeah, I thought you guys still wanted to go shopping. This... This one is fine with doing that, but we still have our tasks at hand. But we also have a whole bunch of gold that I don't want to carry around with us in a big, hefty chest. This one proposes we stop at Amon first, if it's still standing. That sounds like a plan. And then... Whitestone, it seems. I hope to God that Craghammer is not the only place still standing. We will find out. This one does not believe it does us good to worry. I mean, there's always Kaimo, but I just don't think that we'll find anything there of use. That does not make its destruction any less impactful if it has been. Well, let's rest up, and then in the morning, Iman, to shed some unnecessary weights. It's 
stock up on anything else we may need. Sounds like a plan. Alrighty. With that, you guys settle down for the evening. You taking watches? Uh, we're inside the college, right? Mm hmm. Do you guys think we need watches, or should we just leave it to the people defending the college? Hell no. I'm taking a watch. All right. I mean, this, Man. Is this is Cal uh, yeah. we're talking about. I mean, keeping watch, if anything happens, we don't have to be woken up. Some of yeah, us are already exactly up. exactly what Cal's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm sure we're going to be fine in the bubble, but I'd like at least one person to be up to keep an eye out if something comes back. Mm hmm. Well, I can take third watch. I can take third watch then, seeing how I usually get up early anyway. Coffin will take first with Cal unless somebody else wants to. Looks like it's you and me, buddy. Okay. Somebody I'll go with Leaf. Just a second, I guess. Then Solania and Abigail in second, then? Yeah. Okay. Okay. First watch, go ahead and roll your perception checks. Yay! Perception for Kavgum. Shit. Perception for Korshim. I swear to God, if it's another goddamn, like, eight. And it's, it's, <laughs> hey, it's not a fucking eight. Like, that one time when I rolled it, like, six times. <laughs> okay. All right. Conversation. This one does not want to go to Whitestone any more than you do. I don't care anymore. It needs to be dealt with, so we'll deal with it. Did hear me right? I am coming through. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you're okay. coming through. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's just Tov Gum seems to be struggling for words. I guess. Okay, I, I just just because they just got deathly quiet. Yeah, sorry. Someone does not precisely know what we'll be heading into. I mean, knowing what I know about Nero, probably just a lot of death, destruction, mayhem, and explosions. This one hopes that they are not working together, but this one knows the architect well enough. This one knows they may very well be. It's possible. We can only hope, right? This one does not know if it is strong enough to do so. Either way, we'll uh, do the best we can to take care of it. It's about all we can really ask for right now.
This one supposes you are correct, yes. More silence until yeah, watch it. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, just both of them just like, fuck. <laughs> Way to the world, my friend. Way to the world. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna watch. Just of course you need to sleep. I guess technically not. Probably not, it's a construct. Yeah. Sorry. It doesn't say that. <laughs> it doesn't say he does need to sleep, but it doesn't say that he doesn't. <laughs> Standby mode. Fair enough. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> He's gotta conserve power. He's got a limited supply. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Conversation. Well, I was just going to ask Abigail if she has paper and something she could write with that she could have. I'm sorry, you did that? No, I'm, I'm sorry. My Discord's messing up a bit tonight. Um, so I just asked if Abigail has any paper or something she can write with that she could oh, have. Yeah. Or yes, yes. Here, here's a lot of, I have paper. Here you go. As you pull out uh, your paper and reach in your pocket for a writing utensil, you find an extra sheet of paper that you didn't know you had. It seems to be folded and placed within your pocket. I look at it. All right. What does it say, Joe? <laughs> oh, uh, it is a note gonna... from Cal. Ooh. And it reads, I am sorry. I didn't want to hurt you. And in doing so, I caused you lots of pain, as well as to pain to myself in the process. I can't change the past and what I've done, but all I can say is that I won't make the same mistake again no matter what happens. I know what I did was terrible, but it was the only way we could have gotten the deceiver out of your head. The Fargill asked me to, and I regretted doing it, but felt that it had to be done. It didn't really hit me until I saw you lying there. I know you're having a hard time with it, and so am I. I know you may never forgive me for what I have done, but I just want you to know that it was nothing personal. I hope you can forgive me for it and that we can continue to be friends. I've loved the time we've spent together and it puts a smile on my face every day. Being around you brightens my day and gives me a reason to keep fighting. You have been my strength in some of my weakest moments lately and I wish to be the same for yours. One day I'm hoping you can forgive me, but I will understand if you don't. Either way, I just want you to know how deeply sorry I am for what pain I have caused you. Your ally, and hopefully still your friend, Kala Rogan. Aww. It's at the same time. <laughs> and she just... She stares at the letter for a long time and also forgetting that she was going to give Shalanka the parchment. Abby? Everything mm -hmm. okay? Everything's just wonderful. I have never received a letter like this. Not bad, is it? No. no. It's just... It's one of those where... 
you realize everything's going to be all right. So, oh yeah, your parchment. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. What do you need it for? Kind of dumb, but... I know at some point, everyone I know is going to be gone. So I guess this disaster just kind of made me start thinking how I would remember them all. So I just kind of want to put names down and try at least sketching them so their faces won't be forgotten. Do you need help with the sketches? <laughs> I would appreciate the help. I've never done anything like Okay. I'll help you draw. And I draw the most elaborate <laughs> drawing of a cow with like hearts all around <laughs> it. Stars. It just looked fantastic. <laughs> Hopefully. Depends on the performance check. <laughs> exactly. I'm about to do that right now. <laughs> it's okay. It's a nat one. It's a stick figure of Cal. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh. So I just kind of smiles at her. It's like... I mean, then, she's she, she's got a plus yeah. 12 to that. I hope it would be a little better than a stick figure. Yeah, yeah, um, I was more meaning, like, fucking Winston, and the Huntress, and her brother, and the people I knew that aren't here, but <laughs> it's a wonderful uh, drawing of Cal, dear. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll draw Winston. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is a stick figure, and no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if there's a way for me to... Um, keep this inscription permanently, like, not, and not, I don't know if I can, I don't think I have a spell like that. Is there, like, an arcane inscription that lasts forever? I mean, it'll be there unless you go swimming. But... Yeah. You could probably get that done in Iman. Yeah, yeah. Probably, because I just wanted to make sure it's, like, kept pristine and not destroyed. Sounds like a service that could also, be Also, I need the letter, by the way. Just, just message it to me. <laughs> oh, it's in a... Yeah, you can the group chat it to you and oh. put it in the group chat. Oh, nice. No. So I guess we're, I'm spinning my watch-ish drawing and keep it an eye out. Okay. Um, Isolania, okay. one more thing. Mm hmm. Is it true that druids, if they are, they reach? most powerful they stay alive for many 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 years that point it's you 
called being an arch druid. You age one year for every 18. So this is why you need the drawings, because if you reach that, you... Long lives give you blessings of knowledge. There's a lot that can happen in those long lives. Memories can be forgotten. Faces can be too. And I want to make sure I can... For as long as I can. Well, if I go before you, I'll... When I'm in the afterlife, I'll keep an eye out for you. Thank you. Thank you. So, don't make that too soon. You better live your longest life you can. If you can. Um, I probably have another 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll try. <laughs> Is cow's gonna outlive me? <laughs> Alrighty. Good night. Night. Okay. Third one. You just love twenty sometimes. I loved it yesterday. <laughs> it was bad. Yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah. Any conversation for you guys? Not unless he starts anything. Um, Garrus will be mostly uh, taking the rosary off his neck, wrapping it around his hand, stare off into the middle distance, and speak in primordial for a little bit. Yeah, Leaf is just like, this wasn't us, right? I hope not. I don't need any more blood on my hands. I don't... I don't remember... fishing off a black dragon. Uh, Josh, what color was that crystal dragon, by the way? <laughs> crystal? Stop. It was... it was very much... translucent. Okay, so... <laughs> Not. <laughs> I would remember. I would remember fighting a dragon, especially one of that color. Yeah, I mean, we did fight a dragon, but that one was red, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. That's what I thought. This is weird. Well. I feel for these people, but death comes to everybody. Yeah. Agreed. Come to you a couple times. Mm. Uh, yeah, I know the feeling. A lot of these people have lost loved ones, and there's not much we can do about it. Well, I was referring more because you've died several times. <laughs> there is that, and... I 
honestly, I mostly feel for the people who do not see those they uh, lost in this disaster. If Afario is working on it, hopefully he'll be able to fix or rectify whatever the fuck this was. Okay, it would spread me, but hopefully he can do something. Okay. With that, third watch goes off with no problem. You all gain the benefits of long rest. Yeah! I feel like I can take on a city. Oh, too soon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and as you awaken, there is a figure nearby, <laughs> staring at us, waiting for the bubble to end. Uh, that's. I know he can't see us, but that's really weird. Does the figure look familiar? Can yes. I teleport us away from it. <laughs> no. <laughs> is it XLR? No. It is far too petite to be XLR in his bulky, heavy arm. I have no idea who this is. I'm sorry, it's far the too hundreds. what? Petite. The Huntress? Petite. Huntress? Isn't that the one trying to kill me? No. Isn't the one that shot me through the window? It's that one. No? He never said it was the Huntress yet. Who is it, if we can tell? Who's that Pokemon? You don't have dark vision, so you can't tell. Okay. Do I recognize them? Do I? Neither of you recognize. Okay. Okay. This is right. this is a man? All right, that's it. Light on the sword. It's William Sharp. Maybe. Or the Sharp. S standing before you is a lightly armored male tiefling. Oh, this guy. I thought you said heavy armor, that's why I was confused. No. Yeah. It is not heavy armor because it's not XLR. Because he would not be able to be there. Right. Did, did you that's say heavy? Saying. Okay, got it. That makes more sense. Yep. Abigail tries to hold Cal's hand. <laughs> Interesting time, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> What? She's afraid. She's like hiding behind him and holding his hand. I guess I'll protect you. <laughs> Shit, the bubble's gonna fall soon. If... I... Yeah. Is this the guy that was with Omri? No. And it's not the hunter. Or 
whatever the male version of the Huntress was. I don't think we ever got his code name or the fuck. <laughs> Purpose for visiting. Does he look hostile? No. Does he look concerned? No. Does he look constipated? <laughs> yes. Does he look like he's waiting for us to wake up and actually go outside of the bubble to interact with him? You can't see him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, as long as he's just. But gonna... yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Sony's just gonna leave the bubble and be like, can we help? Well, Me. yes, can we help you? <laughs> yes. How can we help? Why are your assistance? With what? And he removes a mask you didn't see before. As it was very well blended into his face. He was pretending to be a tiefling. <laughs> no, still a tiefling. The oh, horns okay. kind of showed through. <laughs> uh, and standing in front of you, now that the mask is removed, you see Tethryn. Twist to brother. brother. And we are going to end our session right here tonight. Sorry, whose brother? Callistas. I shoot a crossbow. I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow. So, so it is. So it is the male version of the huntress, whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah. All right. Gotcha. All right. So on that note, we will end the recording here, and I will thank you all for watching, and we will catch you next week. And for some of us, might catch you for Wednesday stream. Thank you. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night.